guys welcome back to the channel um this video i videoed um yesterday when i was with uh ah and it has something to do with the um air pump deletes on the ej's ej model um motors um so basically in the video you're gonna see him taking out the i guess you could call it the, the sensor part which is you could say entrapped or enclosed into a, like a metal uh, bracket piece or something, some metal holding. So he just taking the sensor part that actually functions so he could plug back into the, um, I guess the wiring harness or uh, where the where the secondary air pump um, went originally so he could get a correct reading on uh air to free ratio or it's basically for emissions but i call it air to free ratio because the last time um something like this happened to him the guy forgot to put the sensor part back into the engine so when he went to tune it it wasn't reading the air right so basically when you don't get a correct reading he cannot tune it to boost at a certain point because everything is off. Um, so I'm not going to ramble on anymore. But um, yeah, let's let's watch this video real quick. Hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and let's go. So you just keep heating it up and go around it. Around it until it's up and over like a pancake. But basically come up and over like a pancake. Everything around it right now is basically just plastic skin. What we don't want to hurt is anything that you see raised here. You see this raised spot right here? Like yeah. this part right here? Oh, it's all flat? Okay. That's just like regular plain skin. It doesn't have any electronics in it. Oh. But anything that's raised, like the circle right here, like this big square box, we don't want to mess with that because that that will ruin the sensor. Okay. So we want to try to get as much skin off as we can. And then right in the center, there's a little metal pin that holds it onto the box, and the rest is like glue. So as soon as you get all that off, you get a little bit of frying angle on it, you can start working that pin off. And then it comes up. As long as you get it from here, up and out, we're good to go. And everybody that's watching, this is for the, uh, the air pump delete. It's more to uh, keep a good reading um, for what, like air through ratio? Or? Uh, for, the, for the air pump? Yeah. The air pump is for the emissions. Emissions, right. Yeah, it's for emissions. It's for like unburned fuel. Um, this allows it to go back into the Basically, it pumps air into the exhaust system to, to, to finish burning the unburned fuel so that it's safe for our atmosphere. Oh, okay. Um, that's why we delete it. But what Subaru did is, Subaru tied in their, their uh, the map sensor, the barometric pressure sensor, into this circuit. So this has to be connected because this, this works in line with that circuit. If you don't connect this, the, the, the map readings will be on there, so. <laughs> yeah, like the, the one Subaru he did, the guy threw the piece away and it wasn't reading right and he ended up boosting less than what stock boost was and his car was all messed up. So, this is part of the process of doing the air pump delete that most people don't really know or never heard of, so. It's good information. Yeah, a lot of people, they won't even do this. They'll just take this whole piece and put it in the car. But you know, we're not trying to add weight. <laughs> and we're trying to keep the engine bit clean so it looks you know, better. So basically when we get this off, we're connecting it. We're just, we're hiding away so no one even see it. Nice. So like 
like you, like you said, it take about a couple hours to um, get that piece out of it. So I'm not gonna record, you know, three hours worth for this. So when the product is finished, I'll videotape it and I'll show you the end results. All right.